two outs in the top of the seventh inning. The game tied at two. And it's high. You missed with a fastball. And now Rubenet Odor coming down the line. The ball getting away. And Odor is going to come in and score after the umpires have consulted. Two men are out. The game is tied. Here's Jose Bautista. Five ball deep left field. Yes, sir. There she goes. Seven, six, Texas now. And then the start of the eighth inning. And push against Bautista. First pitch, and he drilled him in the rim. Tell you what, Jose's pissed. Yeah. Bautista, the runner at first. One away. Two ground ball left side. Beltre picks to his left. Throws to second for one. Ruby to first. And Bautista goes after him. And Ruby pushes. Now there's a fight at second. And Odor smokes Bautista. And Bautista picked up the wrong guy as Odor came right at him. We got the benches. The benches at the event. And there's a lot of animosity out there right now. I'll tell you, this has been brewing since last October. It's all red and blue on the grass behind the second base bag as fists are flying here at Globe Life Park. It takes a little bit of a bigger man, I guess, to let me down here. This was a team with the best record in the American League this year. The best team in the American League, you could say record-wise. However, the Toronto Blue Jays got hot late, and they've been the hottest team in this postseason. Well, I'll tell you what, the Blue Jays almost blew it in September. They almost lost their season. But as soon as they turned into October, they found their mojo. They won the last two games of the season. They won the wild card game, the first two games of this season. And you see the mojo's back. The pitching, 1.9, is great. You know, the defense is great. And the home runs are back, nine home runs. They have a chance to sweep this series and move on. Major gas. You're talking 94 to 98 with a lot of movement. Put away curveball. This kid is up and coming, and this is a huge game for him. Last game out, he almost threw a no hitter against the Red Sox. And they saw them was that dramatic wild card win last Tuesday against the Baltimore Orioles. Hey, Gomez draws the walk. That is something the Blue Jays have not done in this series. Sanchez working with his battery mate, Russell Martin. There goes Gomez. Pitches outside, throw to second base. He is late. In and out of the glove at second and in with a stolen base is Carlos Gomez. So important to take this crowd out of it as Desmond. Big bouncing ball. Martin's got to wait for it to bounce. Gloves and throws in time. Heck of a play by Russell Martin. Showing those infield skills behind the plate. Russell Martin takes down Desmond for the first out of the ball game. Gomez advances to third. Start. Texas trying to get on the board quickly. Sanchez deals Beltran a slow roller Gomez will come in to score the play at first is in time and Texas does indeed strike first here tonight Beltran with an RBI ground out the second out of the inning. Seven-year-old Colby Lewis. He's been waiting a long time for a postseason start. He's finally got one here tonight. Ed. I'll tell you what, a lot of pressure on this elimination game. He's got some experience. It's been a while. Two and two. Ezekiel Carrera line shot. He's hit. Encarnacion's first at bat here at Rogers Center since his dramatic. 
three run walk off home run in the 11th and wild card oh. game. And there she goes, away back. Encarnacion does it again. with those sliders he threw a bunch of good ones but guess what that's not a good one that ball as soon as he swung once again this ball is gone sometimes when a guy loses the bat you say well the ball the bat went farther than the ball not this time what a blast. now Russell Martin has been quiet at the plate in this postseason he is certainly Making his presence felt behind the plate. He made a terrific play in the first inning to retire Ian Desmond. Now Martin sends one into deep left field. That is up, and that one is gone. Russell Martin goes deep. A solo home run. And it's three to one, Blue Jays. They answer. It's been tremendous, you know. It's been therapeutic for me. Uh, these guys and my family, uh, they wrap their arms around me and give me so much support and love. Uh, you know, it's been, it's just been awesome to, uh, to, to go through what I had to go through with my family. Uh, they're trying to get you some hits here as well. Elvis Andrews with a double there. The players pulled some money together. Excuse me, that's not a double, that's a home run from Elvis Andrews. Maybe we need to keep talking. <laughs> Carrera's had a nice postseason. Homered in game two, and he rips that one into right field. A base hit. Ezekiel Carrera is flourishing in the leadoff spot. Lewis struck him out in the first. There goes Carrera. And the throw by Lucroy is late in the center field. It goes, and Carrera will hold his ground. Donaldson out front, sends out into right field. That is down the line. Mazzara cannot get it. That is a fair ball. And it bounces up and out. And coming in to score is Carrera. It'll be an RBI double. And the Jays with their fourth run of the game. It's a 4-2 Blue Jay lead now. That is a thing of beauty right there. And that's enough. He's seen enough from Lewis, but that is a beautiful thing. All right, Tony Barnett in the pitch. Edwin Encarnacion at the plate. Scored on the Donaldson ground rule double. And Encarnacion with a pull and almost hit Donaldson. He'll come around and score easily. Edwin Encarnacion keeps it rolling for Toronto. That'll get him over. 5-2 Blue Jays. And Jeff Bannister is searching for answers right now on the mound. That run will belong to Lewis. I don't, I don't know how this missed Donaldson. Fancy footwork. Hanging breaking ball. game for Texas as Beltron takes a ball and a man on for the Rangers to start in the fourth. Long and it's great to have him out there. Our thanks to Pete Walker. Got a chance to be a double play ball here. Goes four six and not the three. Beltre was hustling down the line. Able to beat that one out. Barney with a shovel to Tulowitz who still has one of the great throwing arms in the game. A lot of credit to pitching coach Ian Bullpen coach Dane Johnson, they've done great work with this staff as Odor in the center field hit well. Pilar turns and runs, looks up, and it is gone. A home run for Rugnet Odor. 
two run shot for the Rangers. And now the Rangers starting to bang away their keystone combo tonight. Elvis Andrews and Rudnett Odor with homers. His life performing at a Hall of Fame level. And Beltre gets under this one. A high pop foul. A lot of room over there. Incarnacion has it for the out. Beltre retired. And Aaron Sanchez has now retired six in a row. Two outs in the sixth inning. And here comes his pitching coach. Walker talked earlier about how much stronger Sanchez was this year than last. Well, last year he played at about 195 pounds. But thanks to an offseason workout program with Marcus Stroman, he's at 220 now. Well, their slogan all offseason was nine every five. Whenever they wanted to push across a certain threshold, nine every five. That's what they screamed at each other. In their offseason program. That's a good pitch count right there. Two outs here in the seventh inning. Excuse me, sixth inning. Stroman said that nine every five is nine innings every five days. That's the goal as Odor takes ball one. Three and one. Odor, did he go? They'll ask, and he did not. He checked his swing. He might have caught a break there. Odor on with a two out walk and now decision time for John Gibbons face the door you knew he was going to let him face LaCroix whatever happened and LaCroix whistles one in the left field a base hit Odor makes a turn he'll stop around second so a walk and a single with two outs post mound visit and Aaron Sanchez looks like he is done Gibbons with the early call to the bullpen. What do you have on Biaginiak? Well, was a four pitch pitcher, which you don't see all that much of out of the bullpen. This kid, just a rookie, big, tall kid, throws hard, curveball, slider, occasional changeup. And Moreland in the gap, left center field, long run. Off his glove and off the wall. One run is in Odor. Lucroy chugging home, and the Rangers have taken the lead. Mitch Moreland, a two RBI double. For the Rangers, we talked all day about in game two about how Texas just couldn't come up with a big hit. They left so many men on base. And yet here in the top of the sixth inning they get a couple of guys on and they finally get somebody to come through with a big two out hit. In the air right field hit well slicing Mazar can't get it it'll bounce to him. And Tulowitzki will hold around first. Mazar has a very strong arm. Tulowitzki with a single to right. Tying run at first. Upton representing the go-ahead run here in the sixth inning. And a swing and a bullet down the left field line. That is a fair ball and to the wall it goes. To Lewinsky on his way to third and is bobbled in left briefly. It's a double for Upton. Big time. He's got great stuff as you said Dennis. But if he's not commanding and if he's not getting ahead in the count to use his slider and sinker ineffective. He's not going to get a chance to pitch to Barney anyway. Now oh, Bannister is going to make the move. Boy, his adrenaline is kicking. You see what he's done this season. Not a real good year, but he's got good stuff. You saw the 98. He's got a hook to go along with it. He's just trying to throw strikes. Rangers lead by a run. Kayla deals to Carrera. And that's off the glove of Luke Roy. Two 
two outs in the inning. Top of the order, Ezekiel Carrera. And on the first pitch, a pop up. Elvis Andrews is back. And Matt Bush, six up, six down, four strikeouts. Donaldson with two hits tonight. He's two for four. And that's a swing and a hot one in the right center field. And will bounce up and off the top of the wall. Donaldson in the second base. It's a double. A leadoff double for Josh Donaldson. And the potential winning run in scoring position. He got himself a curveball. You take advantage of something. You take advantage of his second best pitch. You saw what Donaldson did. Oh boy, here's a matchup now. Potential winning run at second base. Nobody out. Instead of doing what he does best and hit the ball to right center. And Bautista strikeout could be a turning point. Potential winning run at second base, and Martin takes off the plate. So Russell Martin now even in the count. How about that take right there. 2-2. Two -two. Aaron Sanchez the starter. Six runs tonight. Bush pitching in his third inning. Here's a 2 2, and Martin takes ball three, and again, a full count. If you're one of the Rangers outfielders in the event of a base hit, you don't have to worry about hitting the cutoff man. In this situation, because it doesn't matter if runners advance, the only guy that matters is Donaldson running in second, trying to score. You've got to get the ball to home plate the best way you can, as accurately as you can, without worrying about cutoff men. Full count. Here it comes, and Martin fouls it back. That's an accomplishment in itself, right there. A little foul tip. Agreed. Matt Bush has never thrown this many pitches. In a big league game, of course, it is his rookie season, but his previous high was 33. Uncharted territory here in the postseason. A hard time getting the ball down right now. 
is pitch number seven of the at bat. And pitch number 42 for Bush. And Martin stays alive, fouls it away. It's a little better. And he's really getting tired too. That was 99. Fatigue is starting to show, right? Oh, he missed for the fastball. And now. Bautista gets hit by Matt Bush. That's weak. So we'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at bat. Another payoff. And Martin on the ground. Andrews makes a play. Goes to second out there, throwing a first. Oh, and what a play! But here comes the runner, Donaldson. championship series from your perspective what did you see as you took off from second around to third well I, I was just I had a pretty good secondary right there and I got to third base pretty quick I was able to see the throw go low and him trying to make the attempt for the pick and once I saw him bobbling I had to go you've been dealing with a hip thing how did it feel on that final sprint I don't feel much of anything right now so I think that's what's good I've played in front of this crowd 50,000 plus you know it, it gives you that, that shot of adrenaline, and, and you know, you, when, you, when you step on the field, uh, you know, you hope that takes over, and it did today.